Are we rolling? Yeah, I think we are. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Dino Life on Water podcast, episode two. Freshly back from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and sitting down here in the Life on Water studio, um, coming to you live right now. So anyway, what's new? What's new on the horizon? I'll tell you what the newest thing is. I've got brand new merch available. My brand new Dino Life on Water t-shirts right here. Super comfortable, form fitting, ultra light, 60-40 polyester cotton t-shirts. I've got this one, a black one, and I've got a white and blue one for sale on my website, www.dinohalsey.bigcartel.com. They are $22 plus six dollars to ship um, if you're here local in the quad cities you want to pick it up direct you obviously don't have to pay shipping so it's only 22 dollars um, if you do buy one i will send you a couple stickers as well um, i am selling stickers and sticker packs as well on the website and all the money goes to pay for the adventures of life on water for myself and my family um, so what else is new I am now an official ambassador for iRocker. Uh, my new board, uh, the Blackfin model, should be coming here real soon. Um, I'm stoked about that and I'm stoked for the opportunity to represent iRocker. Um, looking forward to traveling and meeting other iRocker team members and uh, sharing experiences with them and sharing time on the water with them, as well as all of you who watch this. Um, if you're here local, hit me up if you want to go paddle boarding. I'm always up for it. And if you're not local, hit me up. Maybe I can spin out your way, you know. Um, who knows? So looking forward to all that. Um, I've worked really hard uh, for the last, oh, six or seven years um, on rep branding myself and working hard. Uh, just paddleboarding in general and trying to sp spread the love of being on the water and what paddleboarding can do for you, not only physically, but mentally. Um, and just love for the love of spreading the love for the outdoors. Um, you know, to me, there's no better feeling than being out on the water and just absorbing mother nature. And, uh, it's very relaxing, very calming. But on the flip side, uh, if you paddleboard or you surf, you know, there's a physicality part to it too. It can be very demanding. It can be very hard. And um, you get a great workout from it. And um, that's the other side of it. So looking forward to the summer. Uh, the weather's definitely warmed up. I was out on the water yesterday. It's, it was 86 degrees out. Um, it's looking like tomorrow or Wednesday is going to be a great day to go out. If you guys want to meet up for a Wednesday evening or Wednesday afternoon paddle session, uh, I can tell you the water is still a little chilly here in Iowa. And you might want to wear wetsuit booties or some kind of waterproof shoes. Um, we still need a few more warm days before I would uh, want to spend any ample amount of time barefoot uh, in the lakes right now. Um, I would imagine with the way the temperature is, you know, it's going to be in the 80s for the next two weeks. I would imagine by Memorial Day, you should be good to go to get out to any lake um, in Iowa and um, not have to worry about being cold. Um, unless by chance you were maybe the Great Lakes of Iowa or maybe uh, Lake Red Rock, which is uh, a really the biggest lake in Iowa. But here in the Quad Cities, uh, with the few lakes that we do have, um, Lost Grove, West Lake, Loud Thunder, uh, Mount Joy, um, the Rock River. Um, obviously, wouldn't paddle the Mississippi River right now. It's way, way flooded. And uh, you should be good, though, um, to go out in a couple weeks without any kind of... Uh, protection you know as far as to protect you from the cold um i was out at west lake yesterday uh west lake is a brand new it's not a brand new lake but it was just recently filled back up this year uh it's on the west side of davenport um it's completely full um there was a lot of people out there um kayaking fishing um i was the only paddleboarder out there but i've seen some others out there um a lot of people enjoying the park there's actually going to be a brand new floating playground uh that's in the swim area 
Um, I actually got some footage of it um, yesterday with my camera, and I would like to show you that right now. So check this out. This is the new uh, um, floating part, like floating water park uh, at Westlake Park in Davenport, Iowa. <music> Okay, so as you can see, um, it's a blow-up park. Uh, it's made of two different sections. Uh, you basically walk around it, uh, climb up and down. I'm sure you can jump off it. I'm sure they wouldn't care. Um, it looks pretty cool for the kids. I can tell you that it's only in about three foot of water uh, off the beach there at Westlake, so it should be pretty family-friendly. Um, it's not open yet. I think they open it Memorial Day weekend coming up the end of May, I think. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. I'm looking forward to uh, trying it out myself. I did see a few people yesterday uh, try to sneak on it and kind of run around it like they're having a good time. And uh, the cool thing about Westlake, it, for me anyways, personally, is it's really close to my house. I mean, literally, I live like probably, I could be from my driveway to Westlake in five minutes, eight minutes. Um, I actually paddled Westlake yesterday. Uh, it took me 25 minutes thereabouts to go around the whole lake to, for one like one lap around the lake. Um, so if you're looking to get a workout in, I was paddling pretty fast, um, but I think you could probably do it in you know 25 to 45 minutes, um, whether you're a novice or just you know a novice or starting out or a you know whatever um it's a great workout it was like i said 86 degrees it was extremely hot and humid and i was sweating terribly um, i paddled for about 45 minutes straight and then i took a rest and kind of relaxed a little bit and it was a great day so Definitely check out West Lake this summer and check out that park. I think if you've got kids or a family, you guys, you will really enjoy it. And uh, like I said, they've done a lot of uh, new things to the park, so check them out. It's in Davenport, Iowa. Um, anyways, what else is new? Oh, like I said, I just got back from Myrtle Beach uh, about two weeks ago. Week, uh, maybe a week ago. I was there for a week. I stayed right in the Atlantic Ocean. Um, had a beachside uh, room. Uh, did some paddle boarding. Tried to do some surfing. I think I caught like uh, two waves the whole time I was there. Um, it wasn't the best conditions. It was kind of windy. Um, we had a couple good days of surf and three days that were not so good. Um, I'm pretty new to the surfing thing. I don't have waves in Iowa. And the only time I get to surf waves is whether I'm in Lake Michigan or I get to go to the ocean. And that is not very often. So I was having a blast. I was trying my hardest to catch them. Um, I think I ate more sand and fell in the water more than I surfed, but it was a blast. And I can't wait to do it again. Um, the Atlantic Ocean definitely has um, a, you know bigger waves than the Gulf of Mexico does. Um, and it was a challenge at times, but it was a blast. Um, 
Yeah, Myr Myrtle Beach is a cool place. You've got like, I don't know how many miles of just oceanfront properties and hotels and restaurants from basically like the North Carolina border all the way to, yeah, I don't know how many miles it is. You have to look on a map. It's crazy. And um, there's a lot of stuff to do there for families. Um, there's a boardwalk that runs about a mile um, in the middle of Myrtle Beach. Uh, there's Ferris wheels, there's rides, there's shopping, there's restaurants, there's bars, there's uh, beach shops everywhere. Um, you know, whatever you can think of is there. Um, the people are super nice. Everybody was really nice down there. And um, I'm looking forward to go back, looking forward to going back um, probably sometime next year. Uh, if not this year, who knows? Um, but yeah, definitely check out Myrtle Beach if you haven't been. Um, another place we're going to hit up this year is we're going to go to uh, back to Panama City Beach uh, in October. Uh, probably the first week of October, the second week of October. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, you know, the golf is much clearer. It should be a little bit warmer and uh, should be make for some great paddling in October, October hopefully. Um, what else? Um we're actually, oh, I'm actually headed up to Racine, Wisconsin, or uh, and maybe Port Washington, Wisconsin, in a couple weeks to do some paddling or floating down the Milwaukee River and on Lake Michigan. Um, nothing's really 100% on that, but I'm looking forward to do that and meeting some new people up there that I've talked to many times online, but never actually got to meet face to face. So, um, really looking forward to that and definitely getting up there a lot more this summer, um, even just for a day trip or just a day up and a day back. Um, you know, the, the whole reason that I started a brand or started a company or a business was just simply to be able to afford to be able to travel and paddle new places, check out new beaches, meet new people, you know, all the money that I ever make from it simply just goes to that and to make new merchandise, you know, I'm not out to make, you know, billions of dollars i just want to be able to make a living out of doing that and paddle boarding and you know that's pretty much it and somehow or some way i'm going to figure that out and it's going to happen and little by little uh i just have to keep working hard at it so um if you want to support the dream again hit up www.dinohalsey.bigcartel.com and um i would greatly appreciate it um, like I said, I got a couple t-shirts available. I've got stickers and much more to come in the future as the business grows. Um, well, let me think here. As you can see, I'm sitting down here in what I call it, the Life on, Life on Water studio. It's actually my basement. <laughs> that that kind of decorated a little bit. You know, I got my skateboards, my paddle boards, my guitar heavy bag all behind me there and all stuff that all stuff that I've done that I enjoy doing and um, this is pretty much my life behind me um, I spend most of my time paddling but I did have a stint where I did some MMA uh, I spent a lot of time skateboarding when I was a kid and in college I still like to get out and ride around you know sometimes hit the skate parks we do have a huge skate park here in Davenport in a very good skating scene um, a lot of cool dudes that are um, out there skateboarding that are super nice um, to skate with um, we have a huge music scene here uh, my daughter actually takes guitar lessons and um, there's lots of new bands that are coming out and um, I was involved heavily with bands for a long time uh, for about I don't know 10 years I played live a bunch uh, in a band called you see that with arms crossed uh we played all over davenport just dropped that on the floor um we played all over davenport bentendorf um iowa city cedar rapids some places in illinois uh, and had a great time at it uh some great dudes made some cool music and met a lot of cool people and played a lot of festivals uh and it was a good time and sometimes i would love to do it again. I just, uh, it's finding the time to do it. And, um, that's another story. So anyways, I think we're going to wrap it up for, uh, episode two. Um, 
again, I've been told that I've been asked by some of you about doing a podcast with me and just having fun and rolling with it. And I'm all for it. Um, just have to get some more equipment so we can do that. And we will go from there and hopefully I can make this podcast, um, something that you look forward to watching on a weekly basis or, uh, yeah, probably a weekly basis. Um, I know the first one I did, I was probably about a month ago. It was before I went to Myrtle Beach. And uh, this is the second one. So um, hopefully, not hopefully, but I plan on doing this weekly uh, and making them longer and making them better and more interesting every time I do it. Um, again, I don't really want to talk about anything that's too serious. You know, nothing that's going to cause an argument. I just want to have fun and keep this positive. Um, and try and make it entertaining. So uh, I really appreciate every one of you that have helped support me and the dream so far of what I'm doing uh, with my brand and my social media. I really, really appreciate all of you. And uh, it means a lot to me, all the kind words and positive words that have been said over social media and just in everyday life when I'm at work or uh, with my friends and family. Um, I'm drawing, I, I was going to go somewhere with this. Um, I want to, oh, shoot. A uh, big shout out to Piranha Eyewear and Max Eyewear for all the killer sunglasses they've sent me. It's amazing. And if you haven't checked them out before, check out uh, piranhasunglasses.com and maxeyewear.com. They've got killer sunglasses, all different styles, all different colors to choose from. And if you're looking for some glasses that are amazing, that won't break the bank, definitely check them out. Huge shout out to iRocker.com for making me their new team ambassador or one of their new team ambassadors. So stoked. If you're looking for a new board, iRocker is one of the biggest companies in the world. And uh, they make killer boards like the one behind me, the Nautical. I have rode this thing and surf on rivers and rapids. And it has just been a trooper and you'll love it. Um... And big shout out to Sean, the owner of the Borchak Surf Shop in Port Washington, in Port Washington, Wisconsin. Um, Sean's been a huge supporter of mine and the Dino brand, and been a great friend. And uh, he has a, like I said, a surf shop in Port Washington, Wisconsin, called the Borchak. And if you're in that area or want to help support him, then definitely stop in and buy yourself a surfboard or a paddleboard or some merchandise from him and support local business. Uh, and with that being said, this is the end of the podcast. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, check, check out www.dinohalsey.bigcartel.com if you want to help support the dream. Um, check me out on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and the YouTube channel. Uh, if you like this video and you like this episode, give this video a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Please subscribe. I like to try and get a thousand view, a thousand subscribers. I have worked super hard for the last four years. I've only got 120, which I appreciate all 120. But let's make that, you know, let's get up to a thousand and um, make it grow and spread the word. So, until next time, keep having fun, keep chasing your dream, and uh, I'll see you later. Woo.